So I don't know why, but a lot of you guys have been asking me about this. So here it is. Here is how if you made an animation on Scratch and want to upload it to YouTube. So the files uploaded to YouTube, which is a video file often ending in MP3, is completely different from a Scratch project file or a SP3. However, a way to represent your Scratch project, especially an animation to YouTube, is via screen recording. So before we talk about screen recording, we might want to talk about the aspect ratio first. Now, depending on your situation, you might want to include this sprite here. By putting this sprite on the top layer and recording it within the black bars, you can make the recording from the 2 to 3 aspect ratio of Scratch to the standard 16 by 9 aspect ratio of YouTube. Of course, you can always record without that, but having the better aspect ratio does make it look a bit more well-made. Now, the screen recording part is different depending on the operating system, Mac OS, Windows, Linux, or mobile. So I made timestamps below in the description so you can skip to the one you are using. So for macOS, you can either 1. Type Command Shift 5 on your keyboard or 2. Click on the application QuickTime Player, right click and select New Screen Recording. After that, you will see this recording menu, having options of recording the entire screen or only selected parts. However, possibly because of a security limitation, you can't record your desktop audio from your animation. So if your animation have audio, you have to compile your screen recording and the audio together in a video editing app, such as iMovie, which comes with every Mac. For Windows and Linux, there is no good default screen recorder, but there are tons of available applications to do so. And the good news is Windows and Linux doesn't have the problem with macOS, which means that you can record desktop audio and video and not worry about compiling them later. So before I talk about how to do it on mobile, I just want to say that recording on mobile isn't the best option, but here's how it's done. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can find their control center by either swiping down at the top right or swiping up from the bottom and select the screen recorder, which begins three seconds after you click the icon. If you don't see the screen recording icon, go to the settings and then control center and then add it to the included control section. If you are on Android, swipe down twice from the top of your screen and select Screen Record. If you don't see the option, click Edit and put in the Screen Recording option. For both Android and iOS, you can find the Screen Recording in your Photos app. So just to sum up, there are three main parts of this. The first one is changing the aspect ratio if you want to by including a separate sprite, making it 16 by 9. The second is to actually record it either with a default Screen Recorder or a downloaded one. Finally, if you want to modify a bit more, you can use a video editing app. And in the end, you can just hit the upload button and upload it to your YouTube channel. If you guys have any more questions or run into any problems, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to help. That's it for now, and I'll see you guys next time.